everyone it is danny and welcome to this updated video this afternoon i really hope you have been enjoying your day now i'm gonna get straight into what is happening across the atlantic we're looking at the infrared satellite imagery here and we can see a couple of frontal systems one is out to see for the most part not really bringing much impacts anywhere there's the azores which may experience some rougher seas and some gusty winds maybe even some rainfall as the system makes its way by and also that next one which is currently impacting portions of the u.s so we'll be talking about that especially for florida so for parts of south florida this afternoon there's been some severe thunderstorms moving through uh, and even that threat of a couple of tornadoes so we're gonna get straight to that we can see the caribbean as well where there isn't too much happening a bit of activity along the intertropical convergence zone in parts of africa and the atlantic headed toward south america as we zoom into the region here we can see so not much color indicating that uh, mostly these low level clouds moving through and for many of us it has been warm it has been windy as well and even talking about the winds how about the wave height so as it relates to marine interests here we can see this uh, graphic here from GFS and uh, right now we're seeing mostly these shades of these blues and some spots of greens as well across sections of the Caribbean. So from most islands, the Lesser Antilles, the ABC islands going toward the Greater Antilles, even for the Bahamas, which is outside the Caribbean Sea and along the coast of Central America. Seas are anywhere from around 1 going up to around 4, maybe 5 feet at the maximum. However, offshore of Colombia, that area right there to the south of Jamaica, we're seeing some more of those green shaded. So those seas are a lot higher, going up to around six, seven, eight feet. And with that storm system, with that front making its way through, uh, we're seeing that things are also kicking up offshore of the southeastern U.S. Wave heights up to around 12 feet at maximum thereabout. But for the most part, as I said, there isn't any major weather system impact in the Caribbean right now. But with these patches of clouds moving by, uh, there could be some shower activity at times. But uh, the rainfall chance is not really high right now for much of the Caribbean islands. And that is even reflected as we take a look at the map right now. So this goes out into tomorrow morning. This is from Euro. And we can see that there's mostly these spots of these grays and greens across portions of the Caribbean. So for much of the islands, uh, again, some passing showers are possible. Not much rainfall is expected as we head through the rest of today and into tomorrow however as we head up toward florida and going toward the northwestern bahamas we can see that it gets quite colorful there even for other states of the u.s as well much of the eastern u.s we're seeing that it's quite colorful so quite a bit of rainfall expected and even some snowfall as well so areas further up to the north have been experiencing some snow as uh, the temperature is cold enough to allow for that to happen it's frigid enough to uh, allow for the precipitation type experience there to be snowfall so that's been happening and as we take a look at florida this afternoon we're going back to the infrared satellite here we can definitely see all of this activity moving through the southern portion of the state so that threat of tornadoes is there and even some damaging wind so uh, the wind gusts in florida are well up to around 30 miles per hour and even other states of the u.s as well such as the eastern side of the carolinas going up toward virginia so some of the wind gusts could be well over 30 going even over 40 miles per hour at the maximum right now so that's been happening guys and if you're being affected please stay safe as best as you can and pay keen attention to the latest updates from your local weather service there in the united states now as we take a look at this map this is showing the dry air and some of it is induced by the Saharan air layer, particularly closer to Africa. And so uh, we're seeing that it's quite dry right now. Not a whole lot of moisture in the atmosphere, which explains the reason there isn't much happening across the Caribbean. That's why as we look at the infrared satellite, there isn't much going on at all, aside from the little areas of convection along the intertropical convergence zone and the frontal systems moving through, so it's rather dry. And this is going to be the pattern for some time, and it is really the dry season now for the Caribbean, heading towards, say, April. That's when we really start to see things uh, get in more active as we eventually will be approaching the late spring and the summer months when the hurricane season begins. 
but no signs right now pointing towards any development it's way too hostile we're looking at it right now a lot of dry air is present which is one of those factors which tropical cyclones absolutely hate so the ideal conditions would be a lot of uh, moisture in the atmosphere as well as those conducive upper level winds but uh, that's the reason we're in the off season right now because this typically does not help to influence any sort of tropical cyclone development so it's really going to be these storm systems moving through the u.s that's going to be the pattern for a while and uh, of course i'm going to be keeping you guys posted as they make their way through so that is pretty much what i wanted to share with you in this updated video and i really hope you found it to be quite informative However, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.